Today Invin releases a new AAO and it's been a while since we covered Invin products uh, last time. The last product was my Invin 925 build that is right at the back and I think it was almost a year ago. But regardless of that, we have right here Invin MR36 AIO liquid CPU cooler. And it's uh, kind of interesting because the pump is on the radiator, on the top of the radiator near the tubes. We have a rotatable block top, which gives us an opportunity to have that uh, perfect alignment uh, depending where the tubes are going and gives you more uh, ease of adjustment because you're doing it by hand and not by some software that you are dependent on, right? So yeah, the thing is, we also have Neptune AN123 of those, addressable RGB, PWM, daisy chainable on both connections, and it gives you a little bit of a less headache when we're talking about cable management, which is good. I have to say it's good. It's quite easy and simple. You just have to decide on which orientation you're going to connect the end cable. And that's all there is to it. Of course, you have the extenders if you need a bit of a longer cable. But for this radiator, when we take into consideration the fans and when you daisy chain them all together, the cable for, for instance, PWM is right where it should be. So you don't need to extend the cable and just connect it directly to the CPU fan one. That's it. Now, the pump has a DC connection, so that's 3-pin, and it goes outside of the radiator at the top, so you can actually choose on which side, depending on the orientation of the radiator, you can choose on which side you want to push the cable through. Now, let's uh, go through some details. Uh, the dimensions of the radiator is 397 times 27 times 81, plus the fans, it ends up at 52 millimeters of thickness, fans and the radiator. Fans are 120 times 120 times 25 and dimensions of the block is 68 times 81 times 39. The 81 is the bottom part to the tubes. Well, basically depending on the orientation. But uh, that's a cool thing and it's quite small, I do have to say, but it's all because the pump is on the radiator. Now, some specs. Uh, it has support for all Intel sockets and AMD, excluding Threadripper. The radiator material is aluminium, tube length is 450 millimeters, and the tube material is rubber with nylon braided sleeve. It really does look nice. Water block, aluminium, copper, and plastic materials all around everywhere, so yeah, there's that. Now, the pump speed is 4200 RPMs plus minus 10%, DC 12 volts 0.34 amperes, and the maximum is 0.45. Now for the fans, you get three pieces of Neptune AN120, I already mentioned everything, but the speed is 900 to 2200 RPMs, plus minus 10%. The noise level is 20.5 decibels at normal speed. I would say that's around 50%. Then we have airflow 60.1 CFM, air pressure is 2.27 millimeters H2O. And as I already mentioned, for the daisy chain possibilities, you have 4-pin 12 volts PWM and 3-pin 5 volts addressable RGB. You get 3 years warranty and the cool thing, you can connect uh, the lights to Invin ARGB, Astroc Polychrome Sync, Asus Aura Sync, RGB Fusion 2.0 from Gigabyte and MSI Mystic Light Sync. Now for the connection, you all know how to place the fans. If you're placing uh, the radiator at the top, you're going to place the fans first on the radiator, then going to mount the radiator at the top. If you're going to place it on front, then you have to some, somehow organize yourself to mount the fans and the radiator at the same time on the front bracket. But here we go with the next thing. So mounting the block top on the CPU, basically motherboard, is uh, actually straightforward because we are using the mounting brackets of the motherboard and you don't have to remove them, you don't have to place any standoffs, retention brackets, air, or anything else. You just have to do this. Remove the plastic foil from the bottom, but not in that order. I would remove the plastic foil at the end. So uh, use those uh, clips and use the thumb screws with the spring. You need two of each place them on top. The outer part needs to go, well, basically to the outer part, 
logical on top and bottom and then just remove the plastic now place the thermal paste on the processor and just hook those clips uh, to the original retention brackets on the AMD motherboard tie up the screws until they stop because the springs will eventually run out of space and you can't push them any further which is good because it kind of forces you to not over tighten them and they'll be all quite easy quite straightforward the cables for the fans are also quite easy to uh, connect and if you really need to extend the cable you just simply use the extender that you get inside the box addressable rgb header goes from the block top and three pin uh, dc from the pump that's all there is to it. it's really easy and straightforward you don't have to worry about anything since the pump is on the radiator i would suggest mounting it on front even though i mounted it on the top uh, but regardless of that for this test quite short i did it won't do anything to the pump uh, so let's check out the benchmarks if we can go and compare three different cases with three different AIOs, we have Dubli and MR36 from Minwin, then we have Shadowbase 800DX with Valkyr Sin 360, and we have Jones Bo D500 with Valkyr Yarn uh, 360. Let's check out AIDA64 first. Uh, we have CPU temperatures on MR36 and Sin 360, same, 88 degrees, on Yarn 360, 90. Clock speed, 4800 MHz uh, with MR36, 4825 with SYN360 and 4775 with uh, YARN360. In this build that I did with Jubilee and MR36, uh, we had the Gainward RTX 4070 uh, Phoenix GS and it went up to 62 degrees Celsius. Now, when we go to Cinebench scores and check out what we got here. so. First, I'm going to go and show you the Cinnabon scores of MR36. We have temperatures going from 82 to 83 degrees and basically it's mostly 82. Uh, the CPU clock from 4925 MHz to 49, it touched once 4975 MHz, but that was an average because it actually peaked at 5000. So as I said, I always use, I always show the average, I don't go to medium or maximum because they will be everywhere. Then when we go to the Cinebench scores, the maximum score was 26,511 and the lowest score was, it didn't even go beneath uh, 26,300. Uh, it stayed there and we have some sort of an average at 26,390 or something like that. All in all, when we take into consideration that MR36 from Inwin actually placed in the middle of those two AAOs and even close to the premium one from Valkyr, the Sin360, I would say that's a cool thing. Because we're looking here at a quite nice AAO with an outstanding price because uh, the price that we're currently looking at is 145 euros. And that's outstanding because 360 AAO under 150 is a great deal especially with this performance i totally forgot to mention the processor underneath and you might already uh, understood that and seen from the graphs is amd ryzen 9 7900 x3d the gpu already mentioned so you already know everything about it so yeah all three cases were maximum airflow so there was no restriction to anything and we can't uh, take into consideration that one of the aios were lacking in performance because of that the airflow was outstanding and there were no restrictions so i think they would all perform if i placed each of that each of these aios into each of those cases so we will get almost the same scores depending on the cinebench and the processor and um, is it sweating enough let's put it that way but regardless of everything mr36 from inwin is a great deal when we take price per performance ratio which brings us to the point that yeah, Invin has a nice AIO and you have MR24 as well, which is 240 millimeter AIO liquid cooling system. That's it, guys. I don't know what to say. The one thing that I can say is soon you'll be seeing this case in a dedicated review because we have loads of stuff to go through with Invin Jubilee case. And that's it. I uh, hope you subscribe if you already didn't because this will be out most likely next week with a full review detail and how to assemble it even though you do have something that will help you assemble this case and 
that's it. The link for the Inwin MR36 and 24 is in the description below, so you can check out that. And as I've stated a couple of seconds ago, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification bell so you get notified for the Inwin Jubilee review video. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking by till the end of this one, and hopefully I'll see you in another one. Bye bye.